Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So for those of you that don't know why Schwarz had their English conference where they announced upcoming sets, you, we don't get any dates, we just get these sets are confirmed coming soon. So we had the likes of Ruby with a premium boost box, we had Saikano coming to English, we had two Bang Dream sets coming out and uh, Bocce the Rock is coming to English as well so I'm sure a lot of people would be happy about that. But there was one more thing on that list and a lot of people were expecting something else, so I think a lot of people were hoped that there was some Oshinoko English announcement, right? The Japanese set literally comes out next month, um, but that wasn't there. There was nothing about Oshinoko whatsoever. To everyone's surprise, we got Dengeki Bunko confirmed coming to English. Now, to some of you, that might sound good. To some of you, that might not sound so good, right? Whether this is good or bad, I think it depends on you personally and your involvement. Did you spend hundreds and thousands on Dengeki Bunko when it came out in Japanese? If you did, this news might be quite painful, right? Might, might not. You might not enjoy hearing that. But if you didn't and you didn't bother getting into that when it came out in Japanese, this, this might be some good news. You might be excited that this is coming to English. At the end of the day, this is a light novel set. We've got many, many cards within it. We've got we've got Bunny Girl cards inside here. We've got like my SPs signed cards. Now we don't know if when it comes to English, we're getting the signatures. Like there's nothing. This is just it's coming to English. It's coming soon. No date. Nothing about the cards. So whether we're getting stamps or signatures, we'll find that out later on. But I mean, the people that were interested in this set typically would have bought it when it came out in Japanese or bought some of the cards because most of the community would have assumed this never would have come to English. I think it's the first sort of big light novel set where we've got a mixture of IPs within it that has actually made its way to English. So that's why no one was expecting it. Um, and the problem here is it, it affects so many different types of people i feel like it collect collects <laughs> it affects the collectors right it affects the the end collectors it affects the businesses stocking uh product um it affects the play like i feel like the whole <laughs> the whole community gets sort of impacted by this one way or another um and the main problem is that this announcement comes you know quite some time after the, the japanese set has, has been out you know, it's, it's already been out. The lack of consistency with maybe like announcements and releases really doesn't help. So we get, sometimes we get a, an English set announced while the Japanese set, you know, way before, while the Japanese set is open for pre-orders, right? So, you know, okay, that's great. Like if they announced Dengeki English, when Japanese pre-orders are open, a lot of people would have gone, oh, it's coming out in English. Okay, I won't order the Japanese Dengeki. I'll just wait for English because I wasn't expecting that and I'd rather have the cards and collect it and, and open it in English. Now, obviously, they didn't do that and it's probably because, well, we don't really know. We can make, an, we can make assumptions, right? Perhaps they did it and knowing that it drives more sales right in in the japanese version if they'd done that they would have lost more sales for japanese it could have been that as a business decision it it seems like a, a good thing to do why would you say no to to more sales and more profit um even though this could very negatively impact businesses stores customers players like sometimes things like these the <laughs> Oh, I'm losing my words today. Sometimes things like this is enough to make people leave a TCG. It, it can rattle people up. Like if they've spent a lot, a lot of money and they feel like that's been done kind of like in, in a sort of manipulative way, like we're announced it after it's come out, that can be enough to, to just push people out, right? It doesn't take much sometimes um, for people to, to leave a, a trading card game or switch to a different one. Um, I've seen it happen time and time again with so many different TCGs. Now, perhaps they did it for the sales reason, but perhaps it was like a licensing thing. Perhaps they, they literally may not have known 
until recently that they were going to be able to get it for English. There is that potentially. Um, so obviously it's quite speculative. Like we, we really don't know. But with all that said, I think consistency would help everyone, right? Sometimes it, 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 like we get sets, Chainsaw Man, right? Chainsaw Man Japanese, right? We, we're getting that in English the year after. Like no one knows why that's taken so long. Like sometimes we get a set go from Japanese to English in three months, six months, 12 months. Like what, why can't we have some consistency with not only releases, but announcements about the releases. Um, why do we sometimes get the information while the Japanese pre-orders are open, slightly after they're open, but before it's released? Or like now, way after release. And, and most people that wanted that set have already bought into the Japanese version of it. Um, perhaps, perhaps it is just licensing. Perhaps it is the nature of multiple IPs negotiating licensing and... Each IP is obviously going to respond and take, I don't know, just, just kind of take a different amount of time to, to agree to, to the terms and the licensing and, and all of that. So maybe that comes into it. I don't know, but I think it makes it very awkward, um, makes it very difficult for stores, especially. At the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of people sat on Japanese Dengeki Bunko that now is not worth much at all. Like I, I mean, to be honest, I still have a few sealed boxes myself. Obviously, there's no way they're going to sell for what they were when it came out. People don't want that now. If they wanted it, they would have got it on release um, or near release. And especially now that it's coming to English, they're just going to wait for English and pick up the English box. Um, and I've heard that... A lot of sellers like on whatnot are really struggling. Shout out to Audrey. Uh, you're probably watching this and I'll wait to see what you say in the comments. But um, there's been a lot of sort of whatnot sellers that are not necessarily getting wiped out. I think I think if you're if you're ordering a case and you're and, and you've kind of got like a, a dead case that you're sat on that you just can't sell, I think your business model isn't necessarily working the best. I think with Weiss Wars especially, you have to expect that you're going to order some sets and they won't do well. Realistically, nobody wants that. You want to order a set, sell it, get that money, and then it goes into the next set and, and it just constantly cycle that. But unfortunately, that is just not the case when there's multiple IPs and you've got to speculate on what sets are going to do well and what sets aren't and, and you really have to try and guess and think i'm not going to order this because i think i'll probably sell like one or two boxes or none at all i mean i've had to do it with my store originally i wanted to sell every english set i just can't do it um as it stands i think i'm already sat on a few cases of stock that just won't move like i over ordered slime volume three slightly so i've got 17 boxes of that still um, I've still got uh, near enough a case of Overlord. As I said, I've still got a couple of Dengeki Bunko boxes left over. Um, that's not stopping me continuing. Um, that's not enough to wipe me out. But for, for businesses that are doing it as an income and, and they need that consistent profit, um, it's very tough. And I think potentially that's why some stores have gone under. Like the whole reason I started my store was. Top decking went under in the UK. Um, and when they did their closing down sale, they had Weishwar sets from over 12 months ago still in stock that they just sold off cheap to recoup some money for, for going under, which is a real shame, but it does make it extremely difficult. I mean, let's even go back to like Attack on Titan final season. I saw lots of UK sellers and lots of UK stores starting to stock Y Schwarz and, and this was the this was the first set they went with, right? I guess this adds to the problem of why there was so much oversupply with Attack on Titan final season. But at the end of the day, stores across the world speculated that this is going to be a good set. This is going to be a popular set. Everyone ordered lots and lots of this. And even now to this day, how long's it been? It's been over 12 months now. That set is still under distribution prices. You can buy boxes or cases of that lower than it was 
when it came out at distro. So things like that, if you go all in on a set like that, that's enough to wipe some stores out. It really is. Um, especially if you're like specializing in Y Schwarz, there's so many releases so frequently that if you spend a lot of capital on that set to stock it, and then you, you sell 10% of that, you've got to find some money for the next set that's coming out in three or four weeks time. And then three or four weeks time after that, and then another three or four weeks, like it, it really is quite difficult. And I think the lack of consistency with release information, whether that's Japanese, English, whether that's something they can fix, whether that is just purely down to negotiating licenses, it, it's just, it, it adds another layer of difficulty to these stores and just to customers who want to buy in and want to collect a set. Because I feel like because of this, because of Dengeki Banko coming to English, going forward, it's really going to make a lot of collectors, streamers, stores way more cautious when they think about getting a set. Yes, maybe they increased their Dengeki Banko sales in Japanese because they didn't announce English till after release. So yes, short term win for them on that potentially in terms of sales and profit. Long term loss because people will now question whether they order a Japanese set because of this. Despite the fact that, that most people think this isn't coming to English, this will be Japanese exclusive, people will remember Dengeki Bunko going forward and they will remember maybe I shouldn't buy it or maybe I shouldn't buy as much of it as I would normally buy because there is the potential that shortly after release they announce it's coming to English. Let me know your thoughts in the comments though. I'll be really interested on your guys' opinions. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please hit like if you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.